Hey, so I decided to make a quick video. I'm at work and I'm on lunch. So first of all, I just want to give a testimony. I just got off of a 25 day fast. I feel great. And I just want to share a few things that I learned while I was on my fast. So um, I did a fast with uh, Tiffany Montgomery. You can check her out on YouTube and on Instagram. And she also has a ministry that is called Covered by God, if you haven't heard. Her name is Tiffany Montgomery. It's a T I P H A N I, Tiffany Montgomery. And it was a 25 day fast, and it was awesome. It's great. And I learned so much. So, one of the things that I learned is that literally Satan has no power at all. He literally gets his power from our fears and from our sins. So, if you uh, read your Bible, or if not, you can check it out. Um, the example that I'm giving is from Job, the book of Job. So, Job literally was, uh, God called him a faithful servant. He, he served God faithfully. And so, uh, God was having a meeting, and of course, Satan come through, and God asked him, where you come from, Satan? He says like uh roaming the earth so basically he's roaming the earth looking for people that he can you know mess with or whatever so god asked him have you tried my faithful servant job and he was like no of course i haven't because you have a hedge of protection around him so that right there tells you that god protects his children he protects those that are with him so um God said, okay, that I'll take the hedge of protection off of him, but you can't touch him, meaning you can't touch him, you can't kill him. So basically what Satan done was Job lost all his fortunes, his children, his home. He lost everything, and he was uh, inflicted with a, with boils, like a plague of, of, of boils, you know, what a boil is. So the what Satan wanted him to do was curse God. So because Job was a faithful servant, even with being inflicted with bulls, losing his children, his his money, his uh, property and everything, he lost everything, his cattle, everything, he had nothing. Um, he still never cursed God, never cursed God. So what I learned from that is everybody, you know, every, because the Bible says he was a faithful servant, but the reason why Satan was able to even get to Job was because of his fear. And if you read in the book of Job, it Job says himself, what I feared the most came about. And so his fear is why Satan was able to even get to him. So he feared losing his riches, which his cattle, all everything that he had worked for, he feared losing. He lost that. He feared losing his children. He lost that. He feared illness. He he was plagued with illness. That's what I'm saying. God, I mean, not God, I'm sorry. Satan has no power at all. Satan is fueled. He, he gets his fuel from our fears and our sins. God has all the power. Satan was defeated with the blood of Jesus Christ. When Jesus gave up his body and his life on that cross, Satan was defeated then. That was an atonement for our sins. Our sins was forgiven when Jesus gave his life. He laid down his life. He gave it. Our sins were forgiven then. So my thing, my thing about that is God did not give us the spirit of fear. That's in 2 Timothy 1 and 7, if I'm not mistaken. God did not give us the spirit of fear, but of power and strong mind, not fear. He did not give us that. That comes from Satan. And Satan uses that because he knows he doesn't have any power. So he puts, he implants stuff in our minds so we can fear. So he that gives him an open door. And then when we sin, that's an open door for him to inflict us. So think about that the next time you ask God why this happened, why that happened. That had nothing to do with God. Satan was able to step in because of our sins. Satan was able to step in because of our fears. That has nothing to do with God. God protects those, his children that follow him. So the next time, once again, when something happens, ask yourself, are you a follower in Christ? Let's start there. Let's ask ourselves that. Romans 10 and 9 says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is your Lord and Savior, and that you believe in your heart that he died on the cross, and that God rose, that he, God rose him, 
raised him up from the dead, I'm sorry, on the third day, then you will be saved. If you have, if you do not believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, you're not saved. If you don't even believe in Jesus Christ, you're not saved because the only way to the Father is the Son. And if you would confess with your mouth, confess your sins to God and repent and ask for forgiveness, you also will be saved. People, everybody thinks that if I go to church, if I do this, I'm, no, it's in the Bible. Romans 10 and 9, read it. Also read the book of Job. Our fears and our sins is what allows Satan to come in and attack us. He has no power, period. God gave us power. As long as we're children of God, and we believe in the son, Jesus Christ, God gave us power to trample on scorpions and the head of serpents. He gave us that power. We have the power. So we got to stop blaming God for our own mistakes. He didn't do that. We allowed Satan to step in because of our sins and because of our fears. Let those fears go. He has no power. We give him power. And I learned this, like even with during my fast, it was all, it was a great fast, great fast. Like I said in one of my previous videos, um, I smoked for like 20 something years. I haven't had a cigarette in three months. I literally drank beer. Like I was, I drank a beer every day. I'm just gonna be honest. I haven't had a beer in, it, on June the 1st, it'll be a month and I don't want it. I don't crave it. Just to say, you know, um, I might not ever have a beer again. I'm not gonna say that, but I don't crave it. I don't have to have it. I thought I literally had to have a beer. Like, okay, I get off work. Let me go grab me a beer. It's nothing. You know what I'm saying? It is something. And you literally have to have something every day. That's an addiction. And like I tell people all the time, even on these videos, people think just drugs and alcohol is addiction. No. There's other addictions. If you get up every day and you have to have a coffee, that's an addiction. If you get up every day and um, you have to have something sweet, that's an addiction. If you have to get on social media every day, if you can't go without, you can't wait, that's an addiction. There's more addictions than uh, than drugs and alcohol, people. You have an addiction. And, it's, it, and it becomes an idol. Anything that you put above God is an idol. God said, put no other gods before me. He said, you can't have two, you can't uh, serve two gods. <laughs> And that being, you can't serve you can't serve God and money. If you love money more than you love God, that's an idol. So back to what I was saying, you we gotta stop blaming God for stuff that happens. Like at the end of the day, ask yourself, when is the last time that you read your Bible? Have you ever read your Bible? When is the last time that you prayed? When is the last time that you served God? When is the last time that you actually done anything for someone else besides yourself? And I'm saying this, I'm not. I'm not uh, pointing the finger at nobody because these are things that I have done myself and I had to take accountability for it. These are things that I've done. This is, I'm able to speak on this because this is my testimony myself. These are the things that I, that God delivered me from and healed me from. So this is a testimony for me that I'm giving to help someone else. We got to stop blaming God for stuff that happens to us. If, if, if you are for God and you are with God, God will protect you. There's nothing and no one that can harm you, period. It's in the Bible. I keep a journal, like I said on one of my other videos, I have literally, literally three journals that uh, with scriptures and um, that I learned along the way during my fast and stuff. Like I keep journals with Bible verses for the simple fact so when Satan does try to come and tempt me, hey, that full armor of God, full armor of God is God's word. You got to stay ready. If you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. What is one of the scriptures? I'm trying to look for one of these scriptures that I was, uh, that I be reading. I don't know, but, um, yeah. So I keep my journal with me. So when I'm on break, I literally can go through and read scriptures and stay and keep it. God says meditate on his word day and night. And meditate don't mean you that don't mean you memorize it. It means you stay in the word. You read it and your mind will start absorbing. Just like the same way you study in school. 
and you absorb information. If you read the Bible consistently, day and night, like it says, your mind will start absorbing it. People think that because uh, people can recite Bible scriptures that they actually like uh, memorize it. No, as you continuously read your Bible, you will start absorbing that information. And for you know it, you'll start talking and you'd be like, you done recited a scripture for you knew it. That's how you're able to defeat Satan by the word. You got to stay in your word. So I didn't want to make a long video. I just want to get on here and first give my testimony. Um, if you want to do a fast, talk to God about it. Like I, uh, this is the longest fast I've ever done. I've done a three day fast, just nothing but water for 72 hours. I've done another three day fast where I done, um, uh, like fruits and vegetables. Uh, I done a five day fast, which was, uh, you couldn't eat for a certain period of time, but after that time you could eat. And then this 25 day fast, just as long as I'm done. And was it, was it easy? Heck no. Is it worth it? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It is definitely worth it. So please, depending on where you're watching this at, if it's YouTube, subscribe to my channel. Like, 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 share so other people can get this information. If you're on TikTok, um, follow my channel and like, 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 share. Make You can comment. You can ask questions. Whatever you want to do. I hope you guys have a great day.